Hi, my name is Eilid and I'll be telling you a story about a man who was born and raised in Punjab but hanged in London. His name was Udom Singh. Udom Singh referred to himself as Muhammad Singh Azad, the first two words in his name reflecting the two major religious communities in Punjab, Muslim and Sikh, and the last word Azad meaning free, reflecting his anti-colonial sentiment. I'll be taking you on a journey to some of the key places that determined his destiny. Let's go. Whilst in London, Udom Singh worked as a servant for Michael O'Dyer, where he plotted his revenge against him. Even though he had several chances, Singh did not kill him as he wanted to do so publicly. Eighty years ago, O'Dyer was scheduled to make a speech here in Caxton Hall for the Royal Society of Asian Affairs, previously known as East India Association or Central Asian Society, where he was shot twice by Udom Singh with a revolver. Singh was immediately arrested. My name is Detective Inspector Day. Do you understand me? Yes. Yes, I do. It was not four. It was six! I bought the revolver from a soldier in a public bar in Bournemouth. I bought him some drinks, you know. I must caution you, Mr... My name is Muhammad Singh. Azad. Mr. Azad, whatever you say will be taken down and used in evidence in court. I don't care. I don't mind dying. What's the use of waiting until you're old? That's no good. You want to die when you're young. That's good! And what were you going to do with this? I have the knife because I was set about in Camden Town a few nights ago. When he was held at Brixton Prison waiting to be tried, Singh staged a 42-day hunger strike, resulting him to be force-fed through a tube. The trial commenced here on 4th of June 1940 at the Central Criminal Court, Old Bailey. was questioned about his motivation for the assassination, for which he replied with, I do not care about sentence to death. It means nothing at all. I do not care about dying or anything. I do not worry about it at all. I'm dying for a purpose. I'm not afraid to die. I'm proud to die, to have to free my native land. And I hope that when I'm gone, I hope that in my place will come thousands of my countrymen to drive your dirty dogs out to free my country. Your conduct. I'm talking about the British government. I have nothing against the English people at all. I have more English friends living in England than I have in India. I have great sympathy with the workers of England. I am against the imperialist government down with British imperialism in Club Jindabad. 
On the 31st of July, 1940, Udom Singh was hanged at this prison, Pentonville Prison, for the assassination of Michael O'Dyer. Michael O'Dyer was an Irish Indian civil service officer, later Lieutenant Governor of Punjab in India, who was responsible for the Jallianwala Bagh massacre in Amritsar on the 13th of April 1919. I sometimes think there should be an 11th commandment in India. Thou shalt not agitate. Very true, sir. Look, it is my duty to protect the simple, honest peasant from the machinations of the educated minority. But if they are foolish enough to listen to the political harangues of the troublemakers and to suppose they can challenge the authority of the Raj... We certainly don't want another mutiny, sir. Exactly. They have to be taught a lesson. Do whatever is necessary to maintain control in the city. Sir. This massacre eventually led to the rise of the Indian independence movement as Indian British Army ordered troops to fire rifles into a crowd of unarmed civilians who had gathered to celebrate the important Punjabi festival of Basaki, killing over 800 people and injuring over a thousand other people. <laughs> was serving water to the crowd with his orphanage when the massacre occurred. His involvement in revolutionary politics was deeply influenced by Bhagat Singh. Whilst he was being involved with Bhagat Singh Revolutionary Group, Udham Singh was arrested and imprisoned for five years for the possession of unlicensed arms. Upon his release, he was still under constant surveillance by Punjabi police. However, he managed to evade them and flee to London in 1934. Most Sikhs and Punjabis always feel proud about Udham Singh and call him Shaheed or Martyr because he sacrificed his life in return for justice and those who were killed in the Jalimwala Bagh massacre. I hope you've enjoyed the journey that I've taken you on today and we'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Please like and share this video so that the whole world can learn about Udham Singh. I'll see you next time but make sure that you've subscribed to our channel Brit5 on YouTube. Take care, see you later, bye.